New findings showing that Huawei's latest laptop is actually run on a chip made by Taiwan Semiconductor, TSMC. It throws cold water on, well, that, all that talk that was happening about another big Chinese advance in technology amid this US-China tech war. And we're going to break it down with you for a moment because this was right. commissioned by Bloomberg to do this teardown because suddenly there was this talk that maybe an even more advanced chip than had been thought was exactly. inside this laptop. But wah, wah, not the case. So Tech Insights is the same firm that Bloomberg News partnered with on the teardown of the Huawei Mate 60 or Mate 60 Pro smartphone. And I would look at it paradoxically first. If they had found that that five nanometer processor in the laptop had indeed been made by SMIC, China's mainland domestic uh, chip fab, that would be huge news mm. because it would demonstrate some technological progress. But it wasn't. It was indeed made by TSMC, a five nanometer node used to make the processor. But here's the thing. It was made that generation back in 2020. Yeah. So it's not even at the cutting edge and it wasn't made in China. And also, what does it show about what Huawei's been up to since 2020? 2019 was when, of course, it was first put on the entities list. 2020 yes. is when TSMC was no longer allowed to basically sell to it. But they were just stockpiling, were they, to be able to get this chip? Yeah, it, there is evidence that they had been stockpiling uh, chips that at the time were at the cutting edge and mm. now are not. The latest generation of Node is three nanometer, right, that is uh, used by TSMC and prevalent in many uh, consumer electronics, for example, those made by Apple. What we found in the teardown of the Huawei laptop was a five nanometer produced processor, uh, the Kirin 906C. So it's two generations removed from the latest, but one generation ahead of what we think China had access mm. to, even though it's still dated. I love these teardowns. They're so useful. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing about it as well is that you lift the lid, you get the analysis from the yeah. experts, you answer a lot of questions about where we're at in this war, tech war and supply chain. And actually, what sunk the share prices of some of those that were traded over in China, the anticipation had perhaps run up on SMIC and actually it pulled back a little bit.